All right, we can get started. Let's go! All right, so I guess I am King Kato, but I don't remember which faction I came from. We'll start with the council introductions. Oh, there we go. So, uh, so King Cato came from the Patricians of the Coast. We d uh, looks like it's Patrician Hyena. We did it by the ninth. We had to pull some strings, but we got you that crown, just as I said we would. Now, just remember to uphold your end of the deal. You're not really a king, more like an employee of the Patricians. Oh, shit. Puppet. I'm a puppet. Let's see, we got what the coast wants, what the coast gets. What if I govern for the good of the whole kingdom? Oh, that's dangerous. I know. I'm king now. You can't push me around. Let's just go with <laughs> what the coast wants, the coast gets. Spoken like a true and loyal servant. Now introduce yourself to the rest of the council, but don't forget what I told you today. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, we got Count Solidly Endorse. Nice noble you got there. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, your majesty. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. Oh, snap. Sonic is going to join us. Welcome in. Good luck in the days ahead, your highness. You'll need it dealing with us a lot. And with that, the introductions are done. Nix, what do you think? Will he be a good little king and do as he's told? Too early to tell. We should have a backup plan just in case. All right. Coronation. Your Majesty, you may have won the throne from the que from Queen Astrea, but you still must still answer to the council. As is tradition, they will decide what happens at your coronation. Should I get changed into my waterproof robes? It may be for the best, Your Majesty. Shall we call the nobles in? Uh. I don't want to bribe anyone. Alright, here we go. 30 seconds. We got uh, C for throw the king into the river or D, outdated traditions. There's no need for coronation at all. Oh no, I'm sorry Sonic that you have a cold. That makes me sad. Welcome in, Tune. Voting has closed. Four nobles voted for outdated traditions. There's no need for a coronation at all. Sweet, I don't get thrown in the river this time. That's nice. It is decided there will be no coronation. My authority is now dubious. Would have been a waste of time and money anyway. The lack of coronation bewilders the common folk, most of whom won't see your name or face until the new coins are minted. And here we go, path to victory! Your Majesty, the history books do not look kindly upon usurpers. Unless, of course, they prove themselves worthy of the throne they have stolen. Uh, solidly Indoor says, imagine crowning a king in this day and age. Uh, I don't know if that would go over very well. Unless it was... And let it, ha let it happen. Well, yeah, I was going to say, their royalty, the UK's royalty, has been around forever. We're still going... Hey, I was the queen in the last game, but I got murdered by a rebellion, so 
I'm not the queen anymore. When you die, how do you hope the kingdom will remember you? Uh, let's see. Let's go with the architect of a new golden age. A lofty goal indeed. I suggest over the next few years you focus on improving the king's over or the kingdom's overall trade as much as possible. Well, I'm at a good start so far. Patricians have really high trade. Trade with the chiefs and the counts is mediocre. Well, hey, welcome in. We we accept all peoples here. All right. End season. You want to be remembered as a sandwich? Oddman of the Warvance clan, well-known northern prodigy, stands precariously on a long house crossbeam, droning as this in a trance. Uh, Starvance, would you like to voice the chiefs of the north? Here's my uh, representative, apparently. Um, chiefs of the North, we all know I should be on the throne. Not this imposter, King Kato. How do we make that happen? A uh, solidly endorsed ass hyena. Doesn't the sandwich get invented in King of the Castle at some point? I didn't even know that could happen. Amazing. Also, yes, a patrician uh, won the throne in our last game. Oh shit, 30 seconds to vote. Second. Chiefs of the North, vote for your uh, thingy. Uh, let's see, who's the... Oh, there's only just you. Yeah. Um. You got A for Doppelganger, B for Prophecy, or C for Hornblower. Sorry, I didn't know voting would start, so that's my bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got something! Early. My hands weren't as free as they should have been for the typing. <laughs> oh, um, it says, so Warvance is all by his lonesome in the Chiefs of the Norse. We got Solidly Endorse and Sir uh, Slipty Slap in the Counts of the East, and then we got Hyena and Sonic in the Patricians of the Coast. Hyena and Sonic are on the same team, yay! The previous game really should have been a Chiefs victory. The Patricians stole it the last. Voting has closed. Chief did all the hard work. What scheme should the Chiefs pursue to overthrow the new king and place their preferred claimant, Oddman, on the throne? One noble voted for the Hornblower. The chiefs plan to dig up Oddheld's legendary horn and use it to take over the kingdom. First, they must win the favor of the gods by diminishing the kingdom's belief in the ninth. To advance their scheme, the chiefs must lower the combined total of all regions' faith to 12 or less in four seasons. Uh, which you already did that. Congratulations. Step one complete. As I foresaw. Amalia of the Sir Slippity Slap Dynasty, sinister eastern bird breeder, leans delicately on a poem, podium, poem, podium, sighing. That's a sentence you just said. <laughs> My fellow counts, in ancient times, the east was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back those days of glory, but not while the false king Cato wears the crown. Counts of the East, vote for something. We got A for Uprising, B for Blood Ritual, or C for Possession. Fifteen seconds. Vote for your scheme. Sorry, uh, here's the, the noble list again if you needed it. Oh no, we have a split we have a we have a split vote. There's no unity in the counts, typical of their treachery. They I can't mean, even agree amongst themselves. They are vampires. And vampires squabble each other for power.
Voting has closed. One noble voted for possession. The pounce clan, or the, oh my gosh, the, the pounce, I meant to say the counts. The counts plan to summon a demon to possess the king, putting him totally under their control. First, they must lull the king into a false sense of security. To advance their scheme, the counts must lower their defiance to four or less in two seasons. Oh look, you already succeeded at that. Congratulations on completing step one. Kinta of the PDX Sonic family, notorious coastal tycoon, scribbles with a well-used quill on a hardwood desk explaining in measured prose. Would you like to voice this person? War Vance. Hello. Oh, hello. I was checking the wrong Discord for the last half hour. Oh, that's funny. Welcome in. Hello. Uh, I guess I will vo voice this person. How very cunning of us. Kato now sits to the throne, and the patricians are in charge. But the other regions will already be scheming to depose him. Do we stay loyal to the new king, or cut our losses and put me on the throne instead? Alright, patricians, do you want to be loyalists for A, subterfuge for B, or do you want to be intimidating for C? Oop, looks like Hyena voted for being a loyalist. What well, will you choose, Sonic? Corrupt. Corrupt throughout. Gang, recognize your own false super. Uh, do you remember how to join in, Meebly? Uh, nope, but I'm still also getting stuff set up. Oh, okay. Two nobles voted for being a loyalist. Thank you! And now I have allies! Yay! That settles it, then. Long live the king. May he bring peace and prosperity to our new kingdom. But we can always change our minds. Your if kingdom. If Cato ever gets out of line, we can take up arms and get rid of him the old-fashioned way, even if it's a little costly. The patrician's goal is to aid the king by countering the other region's scheme as much as they can. They will win the game if the king produces an heir and completes his ambition. However, if defiance gets too high, they can still change their minds and rise up in a rebellion. Ooh, I might have allies this time. How exciting. Alright, so far, horn blowers have completed, or sorry, horn blowers, chiefs of the north have completed step one of the horn blower. Counts of the east have completed uh, step one of possession. And the loyalists, uh, we don't have any idea what their progress is. Their progress is your progress. That's true. I need uh, uh, Sir S Slipty Slaps as allies in quotation marks. Solidly indoor says, we're so good at this. Yeah. All right. Um, you know what? Let's adopt the monarch's golden choice. Yes, I think, I think Ashley, you will now be with me. Yes, excellent. Uh, Meebly, are you okay with uh, your real name being used on stream? Oh, too late. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yes, the very I'm unique okay, and way. unusual name that, you know... That is literally no one... one of the most common names of my generation. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, somehow, Ashley, you're poor right in the beginning. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, I guess I don't get any... <laughs> I don't know how you I joined mean... with nothing. <laughs> I think it's carryover from the last game. Oh, were you remember. broke in the last game, too? I honestly don't remember. It's been a I while since idea. we played. All right, let's choose an honor guard. One evening, you're sitting up in bed, reading some paperwork, when a filth-encrusted peasant wanders into your bedchamber, as bold as brass. Hello, yo, Madge. Glad I finally found you. This bloody place is a maze. Mind if I take a seat? <laughs> um, who are you? 
Oh, me? Name's Quack and Tony, your mash. Pleased to meet you. Listen, I've got a bloody great idea for you. What if we tied a bunch of birds to a knight? I reckon you could field some aerial troops and totally dominate the battlefield. Uh, before Quack and Tony can explain further, your marshal bursts into the bedchambers. Sword drawn. Your Majesty, I'm sorry I didn't come sooner. I have no idea where the palace watch are. Do you want me to kill this intruder? Uh, well, I definitely don't want birds to... What did he say? He wanted to tie some birds to what now? Soldiers. <laughs> to a... the aerial troops. Okay. This man is a genius. <laughs> this man is a genius. Alright, let's move you back over here. Aerial warfare a thousand years before it's Uh, I'm just gonna kick him out, because I don't, I don't want to tie birds tonight, so that sounds silly. Arms behind your back, scumbag! A peasant is dragged from your bedchamber, still babbling about birds' nights. When the marshal returns, she looks grim. If one thing's clear from this mess, it's that you need an honor guard, who can actually keep you safe, not like the pathetic watch. Think carefully, your majesty. These guards' loyalties will be divided between you and their region. Of course, you could just hire foreign mercenaries. They'd be loyal to the coin above all. Of course, you'll be taking gladiators, your majesty. None of the other options are half as muscly. Um... Let's see, what do the coastal gladiators look like again? Oh, those are so boring. A gang, <laughs> a gang of lowborn crooks who've turned themselves into celebrities through their skill at chopping other people to bits. They're pain and they're uh, plain vain and selfish. Uh, Sir Slippity Sap says, "My liege, our knights will not let you down. They will bring you joy with poems and protections with their blades." Oh, that's right, because the East has. Um... Yeah, there we go. The Order of the Drowned Rose. Yeah, I picked them last time, though, so I need to pick a different uh, honor guard. Sonic says they're all about those muscles. The Order of the Drowned Rose are highly respectable. They'll understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought an actual battle. They mostly write poems these days. And the Northern Warriors? Bearded oafs with axe and no manners. They'll get drunk and cause problems in the palace. No discipline at all. And I can't guarantee they won't run off on some random quest, but they're honorable and in a fight, unbeatable. Await your verdict with bated breath, your majesty. Well, I guess I'll go with the, the home team, the Coastal Gladiators! Oh snap, Defiance from the North and East went up, and the coast Defiance can't go any, lo uh, any lower. Dogs. Are the oily warriors from the coast? I always forget where they're from. The gladiators arrive a few weeks later. The men are bare-chested and the women underdressed, eager to show off their bodies as much as their weaponry. They gather behind your throne. Oh, yep, these are the oil ones. Huh? <laughs> Alright, so we got silver discovered or horrors in the east. We'll save the horrors. I know. The East always gets, like, <laughs> terrible shit happening to them. Alright, we'll go with uh, Silver first. It's probably all those thing rituals they keep performing. I know. Oh, look! It's Meeply, it's you! Would you like to voice yourself? Uh, sure. Excellent news from the North, Your Highness. Prospectors have discovered the deposit... <laughs> That was weird. Sorry, discovered deposits of silver on my land. Mining will begin something. If it makes you feel any better, I said pounce of clan instead of counts of plan. Yep. <laughs> I know, I just turned and caught that <laughs> Uh, Would you like to voice your uh, fellow Eastern person? Or no, wait. Eastern person's someone else. Just kidding, no. I'll do that. Wait, wait, wait! Count Sir Slippity Slap waves an ancient parchment. It's true, the East is a bunch of weirdos, but I love it anyway. 
Silver belongs to me. The deposit is in our side of the border, and this scroll proves it. This could get nasty, your majesty. The border between the north and the east has always been highly contested. Which nobles should benefit from the silver deposits? We have A, the north owns the silver, they claimed it first. B, the east is entitled to the land, they have some paper that says so. C, both regions must share the silver deposit. Well, the east has proof. So, we're just going to go with this. Alright, so I'm going to hit start. We got A for the north, B for the east, or C for both. Oh snap, we have a split vote, you guys. Oh no! See, they have to share! Ashley, why have you betrayed me? I don't know our goal, I'm sorry. Our goal is still, but our goal doesn't isn't directly served here, but oh. we need to think of the other team's goals as well. And also the fact I that we're the ones who want the silver. Sorry. We want the silver for ourselves. Three nobles voted for both regions must share the silver deposit. Ah, uh, it's compromises. Chief Meeply and Counselor Slipty Slap exchange wary glances. Oh no! Defiance for the North and the East has shot up already. Damn. We are not going to get started. <laughs> no, we are not. This new monarchy is already on shaky ground. Sonic says, already crumbling against the will of the king. Sir Slippy says, says, humph. Solidly endorses, boo, we had proof. Hyena says, uh oh, your majesty, we have an issue. We do indeed. All right, horrors in the east. Count solidly endorse. Your majesty, a monster has been stalking my farms at night, smashing down the doors of cottages and feasting on the peasants inside. Uh, well, that sounds ghastly. Only a few have seen the beast and lived to tell the tale. The survivors tell a garbled story about gleaming fangs amid a mountain of blood-soaked fur. Welcome in, my Mr. Timewank. Interesting name. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the problem is that you are pronouncing that right. I know. All right, how should the council deal with the monsters in the east? They're cool. They joined the best faction, so... Oh, uh, who do we have? Oh, there we go. Looks like we have one more member for the council of the east. You know, I forgot oh, to... Shoot. That was I for one. I forgot to uh, set this to balance. I don't think I can change it. I think... Uh, yeah, I can't change it. Womp, womp. Oh, sweet, I am pronouncing it right. Uh, I think, let's see. I think you, you could try, uh, join maybe north? Maybe that will do it? I don't know, but here is the updated noble list. That's weird that it went on to the... Put this person on the counts when they're supposed to, they're trying to get on my team, but yeah, that's weird. I don't, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, maybe they don't own the game, they don't get the choice. No, they do. No, they it's do. They have the, they have the shiny yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. Strange. I don't have an explanation. Uh, Mr. Time, <laughs> Mr. Time Wake says they like to start many wars. Oh, Sir Slipty Slab says it only works in the beginning of the dynasty. Got it. So if you join after it starts, you get placed on a random team. All right. Back to the voting. How should the council deal with the monster in the east? We got A. Send the count's army to deal with the abomination. B. Offer a substantial bounty on the monster. Or C. This is no concern of ours. Well, let's go with... Offer of substantial bounty on the monster. 
So A for army, B for a bounty, or C for none of your business. What do I do? Um, I was thinking we should go with, uh, A. Mostly because we have an amazing military. We can handle it. Let's say, it looks like you're still missing, uh, one, one vote. Alright, continue. Voting has closed. Doesn't matter. We were. Hooray! Four <laughs> nobles in the monarch voted for offer a substantial bounty on the monster. The bounty is placed. Hopefully, some enterprising monster slayer will come claim it soon. And it looks like there's no more troubles, so end session. Alright. Nobles use their personal wealth to bid on buildings, and only the two highest funded will be built. Use command exclamation point fund XY, where X is the character code and Y is the amount you're pledging. So we got A for the library, increases stability, B for the observatory, which lowers faith, C for the grand bazaar to increase trade, D for prison to lower stability, E to uh, for stadium to lower military, and then F to lower authority, but gives the theater. Uh, patricians, might I encourage you to fund the Grand Bazaar to increase trade? Uh, start auction! You have 60 seconds. I have no money anyways, I'm sorry. Never mind. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I'm on the own, my own here. All good. I have a strategy. Cool. All right. I don't. I don't Time's know up. how quickly it reacted. I don't know what happened. Yes. yes oh no! Mine, we mine. we uh we failed at getting the uh the grand bazaar. I sniped it. Bit sniped. Old eBay bit sniping skills still here. Oh my god. Did you literally just blow all your money for the observatory? Yes. Oh my I god. Want a I want a victory oh now. Oh my god. Faith I had no die. money to uh. To, to contribute, so... Uh, Sir Slippity Slap says, My liege, how are you going to stop a war, nevertheless a rebellion, with your loyalists having no military? That's a great That's question. <laughs> uh, pretty sure I'm screwed on that front. So, womp, womp. Uh, all right, so we got no silver, finding a spouse, and arms shortage. All right, so we'll start with finding a spouse. Your Majesty, it's important you find a spouse sooner rather than later. I thought you said spell, despite knowing what you were talking about. <laughs> I'll take the liberty of finding an eligible candidate. What is your preference? Man, woman, or do you not mind? Uh, anything's fine. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll send out messengers to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. Let's see what they have to offer. It's an easy enough decision. You'll marry into the patricians as we agreed before you took the throne, right? Right? Uh, sure. I, I guess. No silver. Chief Meeply and Count Sir Slipty Slap arrive in the council chamber side by side. This is the third week in a row with no silver. Why are the miners spending all their time playing this 
rock ball sport anyway. Me please you. I couldn't see you singing it. Uh, gods be good, it was your miners who invented rock ball. I can't help that the northern workers are competitive. Uh... Uh, Sir Slipty Slap has said the ease can provide support if you're ever in need, my liege, but you need to marry a count. Solidly endorse, uh, exclaims, I love the rock bomb plot! I have never seen that before, so this will be interesting. It's a disaster. Even the miners who haven't broken their arms aren't getting any mining done. Uh... What should be done about the rock ball getting in the way of mining? Ban rock ball. Host an official rock ball tournament. Oh, well, that sounds fun. Let's do the rock ball tournament. We got B for ban rock ball or C for host a rock ball tournament. Oh, snap. We have Count Unity. Yay. Ooh, we have Patrician Unity, but do we have Chief Unity? Oh, snap. Meeply, it looks like you need to vote B. Geez, Chiefs of the North, so boring. We're just going to be contrarian this whole game. I mean, that sounds like a lot of in injuries. Uh, Sonic says, boo, the Chiefs don't like fun. Also, I keep we like tradition and honor. To, I keep wanting to misread Rock Ball. <laughs> Host an official rock ball tournament it is! The first annual rock ball cup is an unmitigated disaster! Previously a mishmash of undocumented and ever-changing rules, arguments about what rock ball actually is turned into bloody balls. Oh no, this backfired so horribly! In the end, both the chiefs and the counts are forced to withdraw from the mine altogether before conflicts escalates further. No! Uh -oh. It failed! See, I didn't vote. We didn't vote for this. Alright, arm shortage. Noble Patrician Sonic. Your August Majesty, the situation on the coast is dire. The Patricians, I mean, the King's Navy, is in tatters. So few ships remain that I fear we lack the presence to patrol our trade routes. We must bolster our dwindling forces in the coast. Who knows what will happen to our people without protection? What should be done to address the military downturn of the coast? We got hire a mercenary company to help protect the coast. That would drain my entire treasure, so Worth it. no for that one. Employ traders from across the coast to build new ships. Or the coast has no need of sailors, leave them be. Uh, I, mo the monarchy would really, really like it if y'all chose B. Please and thank yep. you. Which is why we're doing C. Damn, everyone wants to screw me over already, huh? Tragic. I haven't even, like, done anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Voting has closed. Ah, oh, shit. I clicked too fast. Uh, not everyone in the kingdom believes in oh. military might. Although the patricians are furious that you've let them out to dry, other nobles praise your forward-thinking attitude. Perhaps disarmament is really on the horizon? Uh, I don't need the kingdom to be stable, but everything huh. else... It's interesting. My stability went up. I mean, I'll take it. End season. Also, oh yeah, what's our goal? Right now, uh, Sir leave. Slippity Slap says, why on earth would we help the Patrician King? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to make sure everyone uh, never goes hungry. Doesn't matter which which faction you're from, I want you to have a full belly. I yeah, just full found of this sword. Little blue, blue hey, that's a your thing. I definitely don't want to be stabbing some folks. Uh, what were you saying, Meeply? I found a little blue icon that I can click on in Twitch that lets me see that stuff. Oh, cool. So uh, if anyone else is looking for it, your team icon should be on the mid-left side of Twitch, and you can click on that if you're playing and see all your stuff. Uh, 
Yes, so that's our goal there. You can see it. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I can help you uh, translate some of that. Give me a second. What is the uh, count well, goal again? Well, it, it says what it says right next to it. I just copy, or not, I just, um, what it says to do is also the Japanese. So, stretch basically says stretch, please, save your game, save your game, please, hydrate, drink water, please, etc., etc. Oh, yeah, uh, I've been learning since, um, high school, so I can, like, read, like, really simple stuff, but anything else I look at and I just, it just looks like gibberish to me and I start panicking, so don't worry about it. Uh-oh, I've been commanded to drink water. Good thing I got this sparkling peach drink next to me. Hey, good job. It's always exciting when you can uh, read a second language, even if it's just a little bit. I'm proud of myself for being able to read uh, children's books. Uh, grasshoppers can fly, but don't throw it out the window. Maybe scoot it out the window? Oh, whoops. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to modify, uh, the name of the pet, but, uh, the, uh, raccoon that you're seeing, his name is supposed to be Rocco, but I guess the change didn't come through. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Timewank! Alright, uh, back to the game. Hidden in a labyrinth beneath an eastern castle, a pair of counts meet to speak of their schemes against the king. The Chancellor sent me a fruit basket last week to thank us for our efforts in helping the crown. It's working! Our reputation is secure. Our problem now is the Archbishop. His beady little eyes will stay focused on us if we are not careful. You must evade him at all costs. For the next stage of their scheme, the Counts must lower their faith to four or less in four seasons. Aw, oh, dang it. They agree with us all of a sudden. Awkward. The patricians find a reef of pearl-bearing clams, making 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 nov. Awesome. Yay, I finally have money. Yay for money. You can set different taxes for each of the regions. Oh, hey, welcome in. Uh, uh, is it Rig the Second? I'm actually not sure what it's supposed to be. But welcome in. Oh yeah, now you, uh, Hyena and Sonic, now you have a third member to the Patricians. Just so you know, the Patricians are loyalists because they overthrew, uh, the Queen and installed their own king to the group. Oh, it's RG2? Awesome. I was, I was half right. I said RG the second. Uh, I'll just leave it as it is. Uh-oh. Looks like you're going to have to play Loyalist this time. Alright, what do we got now? We got Monster Slayer, Eligible Options, or a Mercantile Complaint. Can't I can tax the broke. I, I, you know, I'll be honest. I don't actually know how I'm supposed to say Mercantile. Because it's Merchant. So, but, oh well. Eligible oh, Options! All right, we got, uh, the Chancellor says, I have found three potential matches for you. One eligible young candidate from each kingdom's three regions. Choose wisely. You'll be securing a powerful alliance. Yes, yes, I know. The Chancellor leads you to the Great Hall, where they've arranged three portraits on easels. For now, each is covered by a cloth. Wait, I don't even get to meet them? It's no time for sentiment. You just need a match that befits your station and suits your political needs. Oh, awesome. 
Oh, mercenary related. Okay. Thank you. All right. They whisk away the cloth from the first portrait. This is Laskell, firstborn son of the Northern Meeple clan. From what I've heard, he knows exactly what he wants and will do whatever's necessary to get it. I've heard he spends most of his time playing cards or making wagers with friends and hangers on. What's what's that? I don't actually know what that is. People say and he um, nurses a grudge, though. Hangers on are just like random people that just kind of are around you that you only half know. <laughs> oh, okay. Solidly endorse as followers, Rupees, basically. basically. I can see the appeal, I suppose. <laughs> this is Desdomina. The eldest daughter of the Eastern Mr. Timewank dynasty. Apparently, they had a hell of a time getting her to smile for this portrait. That's funny. God, see that's that. the dynasty name. Uh, see that beautiful coat she's wearing in the portrait? Wolf Pelt. Hunted it herself. She's always planning something, they say. Schemes within schemes. She's definitely intriguing. And finally, from the coast, we have Clovia. The wealthy heiress to Lord Patrician RG2's estate. She's got a reputation for honesty and fair-mindedness. That's rare along the coast. She's also an obsessive collector of rare books. She'll splash out thousands for the right edition. She's an absolute fountain of energy. No one can keep up with her. Uh, RG2 says, My daughter is top tier. Look at that mask for God's sake. What do you think? Of course, by picking a candidate, you'll anger the other regions, but you'll gain a lifelong alliance. All right, I was encouraged earlier to marry someone from the East, and I'm actually quite a fan of Desdomina's hunting skills, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the Eastern wife. Oof. This is Desdomina. Oh, wait, just kidding. They're doing the introduction again. Uh, I've made my decision. Now I'll choose the person from the East. All right, excellent. I'll make the arrangements. Well, now the North hates me. Womp womp. Well, look at that. The North can rebel literally the next turn. Wow. I know. Mercantile complaint. Merchant. Your Majesty. The riches... The richest merchants in the coast have bribed the patricians to give them an exclusive charter. They now control all the trade of glassware and jewelry, the coast's most valuable goods. It's a monopoly, your majesty. They're scamming the public by fixing prices, pushing smaller traders like myself out of business. Something must be done. Should the council help the small merchants of the coast to overcome the regional monopoly? Uh, RG2 whispers, am I supposed to be loyal? Mr. Time Wanky says, am I the king's stepfather now? Or father-in-law, I mean. Yes, you are. You are now my father-in-law. Congratulations. Uh, and Sir Slippity says, nope, no rebellion yet. All right, the choices are a monopoly. Sounds like good business to me. Uh, but I don't want trade to plummet, so... I'm going to veto this one because I want my trade to go up. So B, demand that the treasury get a taste of the bribes. Or C, declare the exclusive charter null and void. Let the voting commence. I advocate for B. Voting has closed. Well, Five well. nobles voted for. Declare the exclusive charter no and void. It doesn't help that we're the smallest team, I think. Yeah, it does not. Uh, um, your orders... You order soldiers to break up the monopoly accompanied by an even more fearsome threat. Lawyers. The charter is declared illegitimate and many patricians lose their investments. Wah, wah. 
But okay trade has gone now. back up in the coast, so that's a good sign. Instability is now 8. Yay! Smaller traders Ooh. in the coast floors once again. Prices return to a sensible level. The common folk rejoice. Patricians don't even know what's best for y'all. Hey, uh, they're the loyalists, and we want trade to go up. So that works. Exactly. That's what's hilarious. You just went against the patricians' interests, and as a result, it helped the patricians' interests. It's like amazing. Well, yeah, because we're not supporting greedy capitalists. We're supporting the common folk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Monster Slayer! A Monster Slayer named Vogan asked permission to appear before the Council. The bounty on the monster in the East has been collected. He steps forward, a gaunt figure in a hooded cloak. With a sneer, he tosses something at your feet, a blood-soaked head tumbling across your nice, clean floor. Uh, Warvance, would you like to voice Vogan in the most evilest manner possible? A monster, my liege. Beautiful, love it. That's no monster. That's Count Mr. Time Wanks ahead. Murder! Murder! Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Time, my, my father-in-law wow. died. Damn. <laughs> what happened? Care to explain yourself? That's you, Warvance. Count Mr. Time Wink YT was the monster who has been terrorizing the East these last few months. Last week, I hunted the beast down, found it feasting on the remnants of some unlucky peasant. Damn creature looped away before I could kill it, so I followed at a distance. Its way back to a grand keep. Before my very eyes, I witnessed this bloodthirsty beast transform back into Count Mr. Time Wank YT. Oh shit, Mr. Time Wank is a werewolf! That's a, a plot twist I did not see coming. Do you know what manner of creature this was? It was some kind of skin shredder, no doubt. A nightmare beast that lived within Count Mr. Time Wank YT's skin and came out at night. He had no memory of his crimes, I'm sure. But the only cure was the axe. Monster or not, your majesty, Count Mr. Timewank was a noble. We can't stand for a noble to be slain by some common-blooded mercenary. Arrest this man. <laughs> Count Mr. Timewank has died. Mr. Timewank II has now joined the council. <laughs> Uh, order your honor guard to arrest Vogan. Uh, give Vogan his bounty and send him on his way. Or let the monster slayer go, but pay him nothing. Well, my authority... For the metal option. Ah, jeez. My authority is shit. Uh, so I don't want option one or three, so let's go with the middle option. Pleasure doing business with you. Sorry, Counts. Uh, Vogan strives from your console hall, whistling and dragging behind him a sack of clinking gold. What kind of message does this send? That you can kill a Count and the Council will pay for it? Outrageous. Boo! State-sponsored murder! Well, yeah, that's true. I did do that, didn't I? Well, it was either that or have my authority plummet. Alright, in season! Deep in the back rooms of the royal palace, the coastal patricians are poring over secret letters and scribbled diagrams. On the wall is a corkboard filled with pins and crisscrossed by colored string. The king has finally found a match! Even if it isn't who we had hoped, now he just needs to get on with the wedding. Indeed. And then on to producing an heir. The Counts have been unusually quiet recently. They've been trying to get into the King's good books, but I can't work out why. 
then we've got to keep off our efforts. King Cato isn't going anywhere on our watch. The patricians must continue to aid the king by countering the other region's schemes. They will win the game if the king produces an heir and completes his ambition. Alright, so it sounds like I need to hurry up and get busy with Des... Was it Desmomina? I think the name was. You can't remember your wife's name. Please. I can't remember my wife's name. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Alright, um... All right, well, no, so, so far, nobody's scheme cares about stability or authority, so I'll just leave things as they are. All right, we have Missing Nobles, A Matter of Faith, and The Royal Wedding. Let's start with The Royal Wedding. Your, oh, it's Desdomina. I was missing the dough. Your wedding to Desdomina is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. For a week and a day, the capital is one giant party. It feels like you're the only one not taking part. Uh, welcome in. Uh, how do I pronounce that? Is it Uni Beast? No, that's not right. Well, welcome in, Beast. Please uh, let me know how to pronounce your name properly. Congratulations on successfully uh, expelling the grasshopper from your home. It feels like you're well, the well, only well. one not taking part. Instead, you're getting ready for the ceremony. Soon enough, you're standing in St. Bertrand's Cathedral with Desdomina at your side. Thank you. I shall refer to you as Beast. Welcome in. Hope you enjoy the shenanigans. Here's the current noble list. If you plan on joining in, I imagine you'll get stuffed into the north. Do you take this woman to be your I'll lawfully you your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Then I pronounce you king and wife. After the wedding, of course, there's a feast. And after the feast, a dance. Your new wife, Desdomina, refuses to dance at all, preferring instead to brood in the corner. Lovely. The Norse Defiance has gone down. This is Oh, look! Game. This is now an even keel. We got three members of each noble party. Woohoo! Balance has been restored. Alright, Kingdom Stability is now nine. Authority has gone up. Defiance is down. and def Well, Defiance is down for everyone. Yay! By the time you find yourself alone with Desdomina, it's past midnight and you've never felt more tired. Uh, Meeply, would you like to give voice to my wife? Uh, no. All right. I cannot work. That's fine. Did you see the eight crows perched on the church tower as we walked into cathedral? A dire omen. Uh, perhaps you're right. The peasants have the right idea. They get married for love, not for politics. Oh, to live the simple life of a commoner. Uh, there, there. We're both in this together. You comfort Desdomina long into the night, listening as she expresses her doubts and fears. As dawn breaks, she falls asleep on your shoulder, exhausted. Aww. Hello. Hello! Welcome to Hello. King of the Castle! It's the King of the Castle. King of the Castle. I'm in the chair, King of the Castle. Thank you okay. for joining us. We always appreciate your participation. Always happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I'd like to also thank our sponsor. Uh, yeah. Thank you to our sponsor, um, Make Believe. Make oh. Believe is something I just made up right now. Well, currently, yeah. I do actually have a sponsor. Hello, Fresh. I just forgot to put their logo up. Hello, Spawn. Hello, hello. Hey. You know, Tia, it's crazy. <laughs> What's Sometimes, up? don't we live just busy lives nowadays? Like, everyone just has such busy life nowadays, right? Uh, yeah, and busy being obsessed with Asterion in Baldur's Gate 3. No. 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 Too, too busy to eat healthy. 
So that's where Hello Fresh comes. God damn it! Haven't you done this? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I took down the logo because I, I, I think it's been. I think my uh, forty-five days have passed already. I don't. I don't think the code even works anymore. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, fuck that. I'm not giving these guys free advertising. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, a matter of faith. Uh, solidly Endorse says, that was the worst sponsor read ever. Yes, yes, I am aware. Yeah, what that sounds like a... Uh, what are you, a fucking executive? Mind your business. <laughs> oh! <Or> Hello Fresh? <laughs> Wait, who am I, who am I saying hey, that to? Uh, you are saying it to a sol Solidly Endorse who is currently on the Counts of the East team. You are directly accosting one of Tia's uh, audience members. Good, good move, good move. Uh, solidly <laughs> endorsed is now taking notes furiously, so I think you're in hot water, sir. Oh, fuck, not again. Alright, on to the game. A matter of faith. Don't forget to hit exclamation point join in my Twitch chat uh, to join in, Mr. J. Yas, Miss Tia. Yas. <laughs> also, can... uh, solidly endorsed says, "Careful, HelloFresh knows where you live." So, womp womp for <laughs> me. They wouldn't tell that. <laughs> Send you your food. All right, no. Jay. Let's see no. which. Oh shit, Jay, you're on the counts team. Uh, <laughs> friends. You're also. Friend. You're also broke as fuck. You have no money. <laughs> Friend endorse. Hello, hello, <laughs> fellow, fellow camp, hello. <laughs> uh, Sonic says boo. Oh. Should, 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 I, should I voice this beast? Oh, uh, yes. Would you be willing to voice Chief Unbeast? Your greatness. There are northern citizens scattered throughout the kingdom with nowhere to pay homage to their gods. Oh, no. Would it kill you to build a few temples to the old gods outside the north? They don't have to be big temples. Uh, yes it would. Because, what are you guys trying to do? Yeah, there we go. Lower all total faith to 12. So if I build a temple, wouldn't that increase faith doing the opposite oh, of what you guys um, want? No, uh, we want to build uh, temples to the old gods, not to the... This faith represents the faith to the, the ninth or ninth. Oh, gods, okay, okay. The orthodox religion is what we're trying to destroy by turning the people to our barbarian ways. Uh, solidly in, uh, solidly indoors said, let them worship their heathen gods. All right, I don't think the High Inquisitor would be happy. Good point, your people need somewhere to pray. Um, let's see. I don't think the High Inquisitor would be happy. That's fine. You have lines. Tiny little temples. She'll never notice. Alright, should the North be allowed to open up temples in other regions of the kingdom? We got, let them build as many temples as they like. Minus 700 and filthy... Uh, filthy. 50 wealth. I don't know why I said filthy. Because you know what. Let them open one temple. <laughs> no! This smells like heresy! Well, the okay, so the North's defiance is already super high, so I'm going to say no to uh, heresy. All right, so we got B, allow them to open one temple, or A, let them build as many as they like. Let the voting begin. Uh, un... Uh, Beast says, let me worship HelloFresh because insert stupid sponsor segment. Ha 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 ha. Look, look what happens. <laughs> we're, all, we're all raiding your treasury. Actually, it's we're wealth, not treasury, so ha ha. Oh, just kidding. Well, that's fine. It's still doing what we want. It looks like you voted. You're in there. Yeah, because it finally let me... It, it let me... Uh, I'll, so, like, finally registered. I was gonna say, sometimes yeah. you have to, like, hit refresh on the app, and then it, like... Because sometimes if you're idle for too long, it'll, like, boot you out. Which is why I usually, like, tap on the, um... Whatever the goal is button every so often, so I don't get kicked out. Well... Wait, well... 
We're not uh, using the app though for this game. It's all through the Twitch chat. Yeah. Oh, for real? Okay, I didn't realize and that. Online. Voting has closed. Six nobles voted for. Let them build as many temples as they like. Heck yeah. We're gonna we're gonna build so many temples. <laughs> the North Defiance is now grumbling. Ahem, <clears throat> you have a line. The gods are good. At last, things are looking up for the North. The chiefs pool their wealth and build pagan temples throughout the kingdom. The church is understandably outraged. Uh, the north, some chiefs' wealth has been decreased. In the coast, your faith is now skeptical. And the east is now heathens! Nothing new there. Uh, Mr. Nothing J, would you like here. to be the High Inquisitor? The High Inquisitor is a lady. Your Majesty! They can't go against the will of the council. But I look forward to watching you heathens burn in the seven holes. Oh, scary. Missing nobles. Are you high, all right? Noblesse. Your August Majesty, a number of patricians have gone missing in the east. Tragedy. They traveled to Count J.R.P.T. the Second's Council to negotiate a trade agreement, but they should have returned weeks ago. Uh, Count J. <laughs> I mean, the missing patricians never even made it to my lands. <laughs> they mostly, they most likely got lost. The East is a dangerous place. Dude, I love how you designed your count. He looks so, so uh, dapper. Thank you, actually. I'm glad you turned out well. <laughs> uh, Sonic says, I knew it! Evil, Mr. J. <laughs> and whatever do you mean? <laughs> uh, who's gone missing? Should I care about this person? Three patricians are missing. Noble patrician Hyena, noble patrician Basil, and Lord patrician RG Second. Where could they have gone? <laughs> I kidnapped. I kidnapped Hyena. <laughs> <laughs> Just north of my, my state lies the mold path of forest. To the west, the twilight lake land. And to the south... <laughs> <laughs> Ilarion's haunt. <laughs> I like to live remotely. It does wonders for the soul. And it's modern trend. I'm certain that this is some kind of ploy by Count JRPT the Second. In a few months' time, he'll be he'll quietly offer us a ransom. <laughs> Blood and stars. Don't be so foolish. We'll find them. We just have to decide where to focus our efforts. <laughs> you have to be evil, or is that just like what you do when you breathe? <laughs> I don't know, actually. It's just, it's a, it's a character choice. I gotta stick with it. <laughs> All right, where should Count JRPT the second look for the missing patricians? We got the mold mold patter forest, the twilight lake land, or Illyrian's haunt. Nowhere Count JRPT will be executed for abducting them. Ooh, travesty. Damn. <laughs> uh, I, I want to call attention to what Saul the Leon Dor says in chat. He's actually totally innocent. He just talks like that all the time. <laughs> He's most correct, my fellow Count. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If he sounded like Count Chocula all the time, that would be amazing. <laughs> all right, I'm going to vote for uh, The Haunt, because why not? Sure. Why not? Wait, what does Monarch Vote do again? Oh yes, I'm sure you may or may not have noticed, uh, but uh, there is a new uh, pet that I have. A raccoon. It looks like I need to move the raccoon, though. It's blocking Count J's face. So, let's fix that. Love that the raccoon has a headband. Actually, I know, isn't it's the like raccoon... a ninja 
Ninja Raccoon. Yeah, I need to... His name is Rocco. Yeah, his name is Rocco. I need to modify uh, what my uh, point thing says, because it still has Artemis, which was the bulldog I had hanging out. But now it's Rocco the Raccoon. Oh dear. Look at all these haters in chat saying my face should be blocked. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we have seven votes for exploring the haunt. Sorry, Beast. I, we should have coordinated better. Six nobles and the monarch voted for Ilion's haunt. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. A detachment of Count JRPT's bravest knights venture into the bedeviled marshlands noted Ilarian's haunt. It's a fool's errand, though. They find nothing but bogs, marshes, wetlands, creepy trees with faces on them, fens, dead bodies, mosquitoes, and swamps. Uh, I'm guessing Florida. we're that's Florida. Uh, I'm guessing we're supposed to ignore the dead bodies. They're not the right ones, don't worry. The patricians aren't thrilled to learn that their compatriots have disappeared, of course. But the counts assure you if they haven't turned up by now, they're probably long dead. Womp, womp. <laughs> uh, B says, one of my cats are named Raccoon because she puffs up her tail like a raccoon. That is the most precious thing I have heard all day. I love that. Indeed. Well, two patricians died. Holy shit! All of the patricians have died. Look at that. Lord Patrician RG the second, uh, or RG two has died. Now we have uh, RG two the second <laughs> to join the council. <laughs> Noble Patrician Hyena died. Now Hyena the second has joined. Oh no. RG two the second. Uh, Sonic did <laughs> not die, and Sonic says that they will have their revenge. Hyena says, "Yeah, now I'm level two. <laughs> uh, solidly <laughs> endorsed says we are speed running noble deaths in this game. Well, apparently that's how this is going because there's a lot of nobles that have died this time. I don't know what's up with that. I swear I'm I'm swear I'm not planning on killing you guys off. Uh, the legend of Odd Hell's Horn. Northern sagas tell of Odd Hell's Horn, once gifted to mortals by the honey bloodied prince himself. Then lost to the snows of time, never to be found again. Uh, Hyena says, it's meta right now. And B says, I've never really cared about the patricians. All I know is the patricians are the greedy people in this game. Uh, Chief Warvance. By all the gods, can you believe it? This has been the most bountiful spring in living memory. The grass is green, the sun is warm, even our sheep have given birth in record numbers. Uh, would you also like to be Lumi? Sure. It's the work of Oddheld, my friend. We've spent many months beseeching him, and now he has rewarded us with the means to overthrow the king's regime. Truly? You mean to say he has pointed us to his horn? Aye, but it is far to the north, in the Ice Giant's territory, the frozen wastes. We'll need a hardy force of heroes to stand any chance of retrieving it. Uh, solidly endorse says, thank God for the realistic lambing season simulator. <laughs> for the next stage of the Chiefs game, they must raise their military to five or more in two seasons. Well, looks like you already succeeded at that too. I was going to say, that's going to be difficult. How do we, how do we do that? Oh, oh, look. Yeah, I know. I need to hurry up and like bang my wife more so I can have an heir. Get busy. Uh, Sonic says, why don't you take Jay's knights along? They're good at killing. Ooh, that's a burn, <laughs> Jay. Are you going to take that? Ridiculous. <laughs> All right, back from the hunt. Kato, dearest, I have something for you. It's something I brought back from my latest hunt, a trophy. 
Desdemina takes you by the hand and leads you into the great hall where a white sheet hangs from some statue that wasn't there before. When she pulls the sheet free and it falls to the floor, the taxidermied figure of a great brown bear is revealed, snarling in anger as if ready to attack. Fearsome! This will be perfect for instilling some fear into the nobles. This would make a fine gift for one of my nobles. It's scaring off the servants. Get out of here! I bet we could sell this for a decent amount. Let's go with Fearsome. The bear makes a fine addition to the council chambers. Your nobles give it nervous glances every time they enter the room. Hooray! My authority is now credible! Thank you, wife! Alright, let's take care of this new plague. Chief War Vance! Your Highness, the North has been struck with plague. And not just any plague. Dancing plague! Uh, explain this to me. What did my boyfriend just say? say? <sighs> but I had to. It affects everyone, <laughs> even dogs and cats. We don't know how it started, but it's spreading quickly. Whole villages are dancing themselves half to death. What should be done about the dancing plague that has gripped the north? We have quarantine the affected villagers. Uh, pass a law that forbids dancing. What is this? The plot of Footloose? Or mm -hmm. let it be, how bad is dancing anyway? Man, all of these choices are shit. Well, hmm. Yeah. I don't even like any of these choices. I don't like it. I'm just going to veto uh, that because I don't want my trade to go down. So I got B, pass a law that forbids dancing, welcome plot of foot loose, or C, let it be how bad is dancing anyway. Uh, Uni Beast says, one time I held him and when he jumped, he missed and fell off the counter. I'm assuming you're referring to your cat. Uh, that sounds like literally every cat I've ever owned, where they attempt to jump and then fail horribly. Alright, starting the vote. Once again, B, plot a foot loose, or C, uh, let everyone dance. Uh... Loss of farming would be unfortunate. But increased defiance could be fun. B. Well, it sounds like we are currently endorsing the plot of Footloose. Sounds fun to me. That is so. Oh, wow. oh well, there's Unanimous. there's ten nobles. I didn't realize the noble count changed. So here's to reflect who's on what team. In Probably. case you need a reminder. Probably. <laughs> solidly endorsed is solidly endorsed uh, option B, and uh, the count counts vote together. Beautiful, counts beautiful. Counts make it count. Counts uh, make it count. Well, it looks like one patrician and one count didn't vote, so womp womp. <laughs> well, what does that matter, dude? Embarrassing. <laughs> Voting has closed. It looks like we are indeed creating the plot of Footloose. We are now forbidding the act of dancing. The peasantry and nobility are unhappy with the new dancing band, which has you earn the moniker of Cantankerous King. Lovely, lovely. I am now King Tankerous King Cato. What a way to go down. Uh, worse still, it doesn't slow the spread. No matter how much one is flogged or fined, they continue to dance. Soon your bailiffs are dancing along with them. See, uh, perhaps maybe I should have quarantined them. Oh well, there's no turning back now. A spot of heresy! <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm stunned, outraged, and incensed. I've been summoned to trial by the Inquisition on some nonsense fabricated charge. They indicted me! They're saying a group of church missionaries went missing near my lands. The weather's cold around there. Anything could have happened to them.
No one dares defend me on their own. They're too scared of the High Inquisitor. The trial is set, but the Council must intervene, Your Highness. Though she remains silent, the Council is keenly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. Uh, let's see. Search for a witness to defend Chief Beast. Help the Inquisition gather evidence against the Beast. Suggest they pray for a good outcome. Uh, let's go with uh, search for a witness to defend the Beast. Uh, so I got A. Search for a witness to defend Beast. Uh, B, help the Inquisition. Why would you want to do that? That sounds like a garbage choice. Uh, and C, suggest she pray for a good outcome. You know, like our politicians do all the time. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Just, you know, had to throw that burn out there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Big Beast is biased, but... Yeah. I guess that's fine. We don't want no faith. It's, it's clearly... I don't think uh, voting differently will do Once anything. again, uh, here is the noble list, because I'm seeing a lack of counts voting. Um, I'm guessing it's just some people dropped out by accident? Yeah, I, I think... Because there's, there's, there's four counts, and I only see two count votes. There's three patricians, only two patricians voted. Chiefs, however, were on top of things. Uh, uh, so solid, we wanted this outcome. Solidly endorse says it's possible that they're AFK, which happens a lot. I All mean, right. of course the Chiefs wanted this outcome. It's one of our own. Seven nobles and the monarch voted for. Search for a witness to defend the Chief. You distribute a proclamation sense. among the Chiefs asking for witnesses of Beast's innocence. A northern villager eventually comes forward. Saying she saw the missionaries heading in the direction of the frozen lake near the beast estate. Hooray! Indeed, they're soon found wandering aimlessly through the featureless tundra, completely lost and snowblind, but alive. With no dead missionaries, the High Inquisitor is forced to drop the charges and pay compensation to Beast, who sends you a small gift in thanks. Yay! Chief Beast's wealth has increased, stability is now peaceful, and my treasury has increased. Woohoo! Sadly endorsed as Vindication! Vindication! Thank you, Captain Holt. All right. Once again, we uh, are reaching the, the section of bidding. Uh, the monarchy endorses the creation of the Grand Bazaar to help trade and usher us into a golden age of prosperity. Please gaze upon your choices. I'll give you a few seconds. The chiefs could have the most powerful military in the realm. Yo, valid, valid endorse. All right. I'm assuming you've had enough time to look at your choices. Once again, the monarchy is endorsing uh, the creation of the Grand Bazaar to increase trade. I'm hoping to usher us into a golden age of prosperity. I hope you will support me in this endeavor. You have 60 seconds. What are the counts trying to vote? What are we trying to fund? Uh, looks like you're trying to plummet faith, which you've already done. So not really yeah, anything so... in particular. Um, the Norths oh, are fun. the okay. Norths are trying to increase military, their own military specifically. And then uh, the patricians and the monarchy are always voting to increase trade. Also, I'm sad that I don't see F as one of the leading choices. Come on, people! Grand Bazaar! I have no money, so what it doesn't I even have? matter. I gave up for shit. I also Grand Bazaar! Grand Bazaar! I can't see anything right now. I had to refresh, so can someone tell me what to, I should put on stuff? You have no money, so you can't do anything. Oh, okay. No, the Grand Bazaar is losing! The monarchy is sad. Beast, you must re-up. No! Alright, it looks like buildings funded are the Aqueduct has succeeded and the Thieves Guild has plummeted trade. Aw, oh, sad day. Uh, 
All right, so we have About Your Air, A Terrible Secret, and The Long March North. Oh, nothing interesting is happening in any of the territories. It's only my, uh... Oh, that is nine the max number? I think ten is the max. I didn't realize nine is already, uh, the max number. Uh, we'll find out if it's baby time. About Your Air. Your marriage to Desmo, uh, Desdomina has grown strong and sturdy like an old castle wall. Though it began as a political arrangement, it's blossomed into something like love. Aw. It's high time you thought about an heir. Uh, who would like to be our chancellor? No one? Alright. Congratulations are in order. The royal wedding was a magnificent affair. But something's still missing. You need an heir. You need someone young. Whose loyalty is assured, a child of your own would do the trick, even if they're a bastard, or the youngest of your many cousins. Uh, my wife and I will have a child together. Ah, the traditional method? No one will object to that. I'll arrange for you to take a month off from ruling so you can, ahem, get down to business. Uh, welcome hey, in. Why? Hello, it's me. Yay! It's a hyena! It's a hyena. Welcome, husband hyena. Your presence is always welcome. Thank you. Terrible secret! Uh, solidly endorse says 10 is the max number they think. Uh, Sonic says, yay, finally, representation for the coast! Uh, Peely, High Inquisitor. Yes, Patricians! Mm -hmm. Your Majesty, time of us! The Council deliberately rounding the power of the church in the east! Ah! Uh, the church has been in trouble for a while. <clears throat> to your majesty, the church has been losing more and more influence. <laughs> What's even more alarming is why this has been going on. Oh dear. Thank you for the follow, Beast. I'm glad you're having fun. Also, uh, the raccoon has moved on top of my crown, and I'm actually super thrilled about that. That's awesome. I'm so here for that. <laughs> it's, it's a... a... It's a raccoon! <laughs> All hail Patriarch, pa Patriarch Rocco. Patriarch Rocco. <laughs> I mean... A counterplay to hollow your mind and summon a demon to fill the void and take possession! No! <laughs> Royal By the time they're finished, you'll be nothing but the shell. <laughs> the demon will take over body and soul. By the ninth god! My thoughts exactly, Your Majesty. We must bring this sacrilege to the council's attention. You know, I love that every time we play with the counts, they always uh, vote to pick possession as their scheme. It's pretty funny. I mean, it's gotta work at least once. <laughs> Even with, like, a completely fresh batch of counts that we haven't played with before, they all still voted for possession. It's great. Alright, uh, pulling up the Nova list again. Just a reminder of which team you're on, in case you weren't here for a while and you forgot. Oh. How can the king fight back against the count's horrifying demon plan? Spread the word about the dangers of demons. Uh, have the king bathe in holy water twice a day. Delay scheme for one season. The counts are hardly a threat. Leave them to their business. Um, some of you are if, some of you are very very poor. So if you choose what I choose, you can have more money. So please allow me to bathe in holy water twice a day. Heck yeah! Oh yes, holy water, all of it, all of it. Uh. So much holy water will we'll make you so much old god holy water. Yes, thank you. Please, please bathe me in that glorious holy water and you shall get more money in Beast. your coffers. Beast, what are you doing? We're delaying the Count's scheme. 
we're, we're not the counts. Why are you voting for that? Uh, we let you build your temples. Now you must repay the favor. What is this? What just happened? Beast, why? What? Uh, well, what? the beast did say once they jumped in that they were all for rebellion, so womp womp. The, the, but they're not against their own faction? Voting has closed. <sighs> what? Uh, is solidly endorsed says, Counts hold strong and beast, we love you. Three nobles voted for it. The counts are hardly a threat. Lead them to their business. Well, oh, no, no bathing in holy water for me. The High Inquisitor storms off to her chambers, but there's nothing more she can do against the Counts. Uh, Beast <laughs> says uh, they're all about chaos. Indeed. The Indeed. Long March North. Uh, yeah. Would you please be Spymaster, Mr. J? Good evening, Your Majesty. Tell me, have you ever heard of Old Hell's Horn? Uh, a Northern Legend, correct? The Horn of Odheld is indeed a northern legend. A horn gifted to mortals before the ninth triumph during the Cursed Age. Pagan superstition, surely. Mm -hmm. Partly. Um, the horn is likely the creation of one of the deposed, dispo of deposed gods. The chiefs have merely built up the myth as a way of understanding things beyond the... Uh, Understanding. But it is real. It's said to have the power to destroy any fortification with a single. The chiefs are searching for it in the frozen wastes, having received a sign hinting at its location. I just thought you should know that you said toot so high that it didn't actually pick up in the microphone. <laughs> That's how good it was. Oh, Welcome. sorry, let me say it again. To Welcome in, Prince of Foxes. All hail your highness. Uh, looks like Prince of Foxes hail, is part of Prince the Counts. Of so now the Counts ah, have yes. five team members. Ah, yes. Team counts. Make it count. Yes. Well, uh, isn't that where the ice giants live? Precisely. We'll need to stop them before they retrieve it, if at all possible. Hmm. They've gathered a great host of warrior heroes for the journey to the wastes. We must act fast to have any hope in stopping them. You hastily assemble the council to deal with the chief's military buildup. The chiefs predictably deny everything. Would you deny us our right to protect ourselves from the ice giants? Ah. <laughs> what should be done to address the... Oh wait, Spymaster, Spymaster, that's you. What should be done to address the buildup of northern forces planning to head into the northern wastes? Yes, that is correct, solidly indoors. Spy business is tough business. It's very stressful. Uh, well, I'm going to uh, attempt to delay their scheme for one season. Hopefully the rest of you will be in agreement with me. We got A, forbid the northern armies from entering the frozen wastes. B, ban all public mention of the Odd Hell's Horn which delays their scheme for one season, or C, allows the Chiefs to continue building up their forces. What mm. shall it be? Voting commence! Well, this isn't fair. Uh, is. Once again, this the, time you got it right, the but... noble list, we have... Uh, their scheme isn't delayed and ours is? This is a double hit to us. At least if both <laughs> schemes were delayed. <laughs> Voting has closed. Five nobles and the monarch voted for ban all public mention of Odd Hell's Horn, which delays their scheme for one season.
Odd Hell's horn. I said it. Your band helps slow the tide of warriors joining the expedition in the north as word of the mythical horn is stifled. It will be some time before the chiefs can set out on their journey north, but the delay is not permanent. The chief's stat goal will not be elevated, or er, will not be evaluated until the end of next season. But you know what's not delayed? The E. All right, oh end God. season. I voted the wrong way. Oh, snap. Inviting a demon. Account rides <laughs> to a remote, unremarkable spot of Moreland. Soon another joins him. Uh, who would like to voice Count Kerslipty Slap? <laughs> Many peasants are moving east as they lose faith in the church. Priests don't show their faces in public. How delightful. This is the perfect time to make our next move. We must fight a demon to possess the king. The ancient book describes two demons, each attracted to a different aspect of the human mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a count vote only. A, do you want the mad tyrant, the cockroach? Wait, what? You want to resurrect the, the cockroach queen? Or do you want the Duke of Greed? Oh, what what are the stats at right now? Uh, is Authority is 6 and Treasury is 1,200. So A is probably the closer goal. What? How is A the closer goal? Wouldn't because it be B? Uh, no, because your goal One is to raise your goal is to raise authority, and the max number is ten, uh, and it's it's at six currently. And oh, gotcha, gotcha. Treasury is only twelve hundred, so usually. I didn't realize the voting had started already. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm glad we got voting. Yeah, sorry. sorry I I forgot that when I hit continue uh, at the end of their their thing, the voting happens. So that's my bad. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, A is the more attainable one, is what I was getting at. Which, mm, I don't yeah, know why sure. I'm helping you guys. It sounds like I'm going to die soon. No, you won't physically die. Three nobles voted for... Uh... Racha <laughs> Masa, the mad tyrant, the cockroach queen. Well, that sounds lovely. No, you gotta... In Racha Masa. The cockroach queen was once a favorite servant of the ninth god. But once she betrayed him, he banished her to the deepest caves, where she became a twisted agent of the seventh. She desires to rise to power once more. She will be attracted to a powerful king whose authority is unquestioned. <laughs> Solidly endorsed says, I won't die. Your mind will just be pushed aside. So, womp, womp. <laughs> Prince of Foxes says, Bring forth Racha Masa. <laughs> uh, hyena <laughs> says, Please save us, Royal Rocco. <laughs> For the final stage of their scheme, the Counts must raise their authority to at least eight. Uh, the Counts impose harsh tacket tackets taxes on their serfs netting 500 wealth the other nobles gain 200 wealth womp, womp. wow uh you know i'm just gonna keep everything the same i have no reason i like to... your thinking beast but um where our stats other than our military are quite there yet we need more defiance yeah i was gonna a say i think more. i think defiance needs to be at least seven before you can incite a rebellion Indeed, indeed. You you don't have to be over stability, also. Oh, actually, I don't know. I just know that defiance is supposed to be seven. I don't I don't know if other other stats matter or not. Oh, I'm not sure either. Honestly, see that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Defiance Prince of would have to be ten. Uh, Prince of Foxes says defiance must be higher than the highest stat of stability or authority. And, uh, so, does that mean seven would count? Because authority's only 
six. Stability or authority. Oh, okay. So it has to be ten because my highest stat is nine. Got it. I understand now. All right. So we got dancing fever, an urgent meeting, or the deceased. Uh, let's mourn the deceased because a bunch of people died last time. Uh, the treasurer. The elderly Countess Iolanda, a cousin many times removed of Count Prince of Foxes, died in her sleep last week. She was nearly 90. Would you believe it? Uh, a better end than most of us get. Indeed, Your Majesty. She stayed at home in the East most of the time, enjoying herself. But she could have spent more time on her accounts. She died without a will, and the nobles are scrabbling for her estate. Countess Iolanda was my relative. I wrote to her at least once a year. Of course the estate should be mine. Chief Meeply. Oh, my late great-grandfather used to play backgammon with her. He swore she intended to leave it to our family. But the blood of the dead, that's a pitiful claim. Whose claim to the estate is legitimate? Give the count give the estate to Count Prince of Foxes, give the estate to Chief Meeply, redistribute the estate among the eastern peasants, or claim the treasury for the estate. Uh who is the blood who is the relative? Was it Prince of Foxes? I, I thought so. believe so. Alright, uh let's see, we have the noble list. Uh, some of you are rather poor, so if you uh, give the estate to Prince of Foxes, you'll get more money. The Conte, not Unless Count. The chief. Sorry, Conte. B. But what oh, about voting B. for myself? Vote for yourself, B, B. Uh, A, give the estate to Conte Foxes. Uh, give the, B, give the estate to Chief Meeply. C, redistribute redis the estate among the Eastern peasants. Or D, claim the estate for the treasury. Uh, my bad. I thought the E was silent. Beast, is going. Beast! No, Beast, you need to vote! Voting has closed. Five nobles voted for. Give the estate to Counte Prince of Foxes. I hope I'm Ooh. saying that right. Uh, Chief Meeply shakes their head, muttering with their friends about favoritism in the council. Defiance is now aggrieved. But... It's actually Fuzis. But County Prince of Foxes and the other counts are delighted. They even send you and the treasurer a gift basket as a token of their appreciation. Holy shit, I just got a bunch of money. Oh, no, wait. They don't even need the... a demon to take you over. You're already working for them. Yeah, and then Count... Uh, looks like Count the Prince of Fox's uh, wealth has doubled, so that's... Or nearly oh, doubled, I should say. Oh. Oh, that's right. I didn't right. know that about Conte. Yeah, that's, I didn't know that weird. about Conte either. I think it's... Is it Conte? Like con and Tay. Oh no! Can somebody? Count, can counting? somebody? Can somebody look up how I'm supposed to say I, that? Should I? I'm googling it. Yes, <laughs> please. Also, oh. I I forgot that I was married to an Eastern Countess. Conte. Oh, it's Conte. Okay. okay. So I'm. Le was... Conte. <sighs> All right. Let's deal with this urgent meeting. Indeed. 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 Oh my. One evening at dinner with Queen Consort Desdomina, the marshal stamps, stamps into the room. She salutes you before slamming down a sheaf of papers on the table. Oh. Uh, what's this? <laughs> I don't know what you do, your stability just drops for asking a question. <laughs> uh, yes, would you please? Oh, sure. Crimes on, <laughs> crimes on the rise in the north, your majesty. The chiefs report a spat of robberies on the highways and on their estates. <clears throat> Desdomina leafs through the papers. Unfortunately, it sounds like the chiefs are failing in their leadership. 
Wow. Well, the Chiefs should figure out their own leadership problems. Marshal. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm sure it'll be fine. She marches out, leaving you and Desdomina to your dinner. Dancing fever! Uh, solidly endorse says, we don't have counts in the UK. We have earls instead. What is well, an earl? What? Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I was, I was just about to ask the same thing. <laughs> I don't actually know what an earl is. I know that they're uh, less... Me. Less than a duke. I know that much. Chief War hmm. Vance stands before you, hopping hmm. frantically from one foot to the other as they speak. Plague, your majesty. It's spreading. Why, I think I've been affected myself. Where did you learn those moves? Now is not the time for jests, your greatness. We need to do something or we'll dance ourselves to death. This may look fun, <laughs> but trust me, it's anything but. Also, that's just me in real life. So Sol hey. Solidly Endorse says, Earls are a member of the aristocracy. We don't have counts since in olden days. It sounded too much like, ahem, another word. Uh, Sol uh, Solidly Endorsed also says Wives of Earls are still countesses though and Yeah, then no Sonic... one wants to be called a coconut <laughs> And yeah, no, then the other word. Sonic says mm -hmm. uh, That's where we get Earl Grey tea from mm -hmm. Nice, I was mm -hmm. wondering it was tea. Oh, Well, uh, I cannot hire a wizard So, womp womp A, order the nobles to hide in their castles And wait it out Or infect the nobility as a show of solidarity Oh my wow. god. Oh Earl my Grey, god. He has been people this whole time. Well, I don't want my stability, authority, or trade to plummet, so I guess we're going with infect the nobility. Wow, really? <laughs> wow, vote! Everyone abstain from this! Absolute No, don't vote on this! Don't, do not endorse this false choice! Wow, this is dictatorship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, terrible. Both. I, I, like, I like what you tried to do there, Ash, or uh, me, Bleed, but uh, it, won't, it won't work. That was the, the treasury's too poor. Voting <laughs> has <your> closed. <laughs> <Vote your mom. laughs> Two nobles voted mm. for. In fact, the nobility is a show of solidarity. Wow. No. Hard, hardly the. the <laughs> Hardly the majority. Line. Oh, that's strange. I think my game froze. Uh, the stream is. Yeah. Your stream's working. <laughs> did, <laughs> did, um, did, did locking the vote into one thing break the game? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I broke my game. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh. uh happens when you don't code for edge cases. Womp womp. I broke my own game, you guys. That's what I get for being a dictator. <laughs> oh, clearly. Clearly. clearly fun, but trust me, it's anything but. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do anything. Um, we'll shoot. Does anyone know the solution? Uh, does this game save automatically? Should I quit and reload? Reloading the game often works, is what a random internet person is saying. Therefore, okay, um, so we're we're going to go with quit because I literally cannot continue, so we're going to quit. And this is we're the best gonna option. Continue. <laughs> we're going to continue. The uh, <laughs> fourth wall. <laughs> load game and uh, sorry, friends. You're gonna be redistributed into uh, whatever things you wanted. Also, here's your chance to actually choose your team. Yes, join the north. Join the north. 
join us in the north. Well, at the very least, this will purge all of the AFKers. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, is that everybody? Because only seven people have been voting this whole time, so I think, I think we're good to go. East has abandoned us after screwing us over. All right, let's hope that this uh, fixes it. Uh, oh, okay, so we're starting over the dancing fever. Uh, we already did this, so we're gonna go speed run this I real think quick. It makes sense to. Um... All right, so yeah, vetoing it break the broke the game, so we're just gonna do uh, this instead because I don't want to break the game this time. So now you have a chance to uh, vote Heck for yeah. yeah. There you go. Yes, yes, a a. It does amazing things. Come on, everyone, vote a. What's going on? <laughs> no. <laughs> Voting has right. closed! Five nobles have, and the monarch voted for infect the nobility as a show of solidarity. Alright, did it work this time? But trust me. Oh no, it's, it's anything it's, but. But it's, trust me. It's uh, anything but, 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 but. It's still, uh, it's still broken. This may uh, look fun, but the game is broke. This may look fun, but the game is broke. Uh, oh shit. Well, I don't know how to fix that. Uh, yeah, okay yeah, it's... and see if that works. <laughs> uh, okay, right. we'll just quit. I guess uh, we'll quit this for now. It seems to be stuck. Uh, so. No, we could still attempt that, but we just need to, like it was being suggested, try voting um, for A this time, or trying a, a different. Um, yeah, so I was gonna pick. Uh, board. I was gonna pick a different file, but if you guys want to see what happens right. if we try uh, A, I mean, we want to continue the same same file. Yeah. All right, so we'll try. We'll still rescue this, maybe. Okay, so let's try again, and if A still doesn't work, um, then we'll. Type commands. We'll have to discontinue King Kato for now. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with the the game. I don't know why it broke. Well, we might sidestep it here. Someone who has done software quality assurance. You have to be thorough. Try all possible. Uh, paths. Jay, if you're still there, you need to re-add yourself to the Counts of the East. Thank you. Stand up and be counted. Ah, yes. And then, uh... Hey. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, it looks like everybody who's... Everyone who's playing is here again. I am the QA folk. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. i um, saying we're behaving like QA folk. We have to try all of our different paths until we get something that works. So, uh... uh I'll just choose a uh, different answer and see if that helps. My G4 Vance, how different you look. Yes, okay. I'm curious. Why do I look different? Um, I'm still going to do this anyway, but, you know, vote A this time and see if it fixes it. Vote A. Uh, Fox is suggesting that if this, this fails, uh, then I would need to quit out the whole thing and then reload. Yep. That would be a logical next attempt. Oof, these devs still need to fix some bugs. Voting is closed. Womp womp. <laughs> vote A. Oh, like well, okay, well it looks like vote A worked. Uh, too bad. I guess the game I guess the game really wanted my stats to plummet, so there we go. <laughs> Damn game. 
It's too late to contain the plague and everyone knows it. As uncontrollable dancing spreads to every corner of the kingdom, a royal proclamation is issued ordering members of the council to stay indoors at all costs. My stability plummeted. My authority plummeted. My trade... Uh, trade is now... Gone. Yeah. Lockdown. Lockdown. Man, it's so the. All over again. I was gonna say, damn, the uh, the game itself didn't want the other choices to succeed. How messed up is that? <laughs> the game is on our side. Uh, the king's guards are the uh, patricians, uh, oily warriors. Uh, by the time it has run its course, even a hint of a jaunty tune sends the average peasant into a frenzied panic. Dancing at weddings and other social events sees a sharp decline. Except among the nobility, who are shielded from the disease. Eventually having good rhythm becomes a status symbol, and dance-offs are a new staple of the upper class functions. Wow. It's got wow. style on the rest of us. Right. Oh my god. If only. Um, alright, looks looks like all of the choices are gone. All of the choices. Uh the are game. Gone. The game itself was apparently trying to force my stability and my authority to go down. Well played, well played. Retrieving the horn. In the north, unbeknownst to the rest of the kingdom, a great battle has just taken place. Naturally, the chiefs are celebrating their recent victory against the ice giants in the frozen wastes by smashing steins together and singing battle songs all throughout the night. Uh, Chief Warvance. Did you see that giant's face when I cut him down? Poor blighters never felt a heated axe before. <laughs> uh, Jay, I think you were voicing Lumi. I had been. Oh, you had been? I've, okay, my bad. I was not, no. So much loot. Never mind the horn. Look at all this gold. Yes, thanks. The new look I totally chose. The party lasts long into the night. A few chiefs take turns drinking mead of Odhelhorn. As dawn breaks, they stumble into the main hall where Chief Oddman has beckoned them. Who would like to be Chief Oddman? Uh, I can. Quiet down, you louts. It's time to get serious. This horn has the power to collapse buildings, cause earthquakes, even destroy mountains. We must vote on how it will be used. Vote now using the tw the Twitch chat system. Uh, A. Threaten to destroy the kingdom's food supply, or B. Sneak into the capital and collapse the palace onto the monarch's head. Well, it looks like uh, authority B. is currently four, so B is your uh, optimum choice for B. the the chiefs of the north. B. Not only uh, it goes against what the counts want, but Meeple, vote B. B. Yeah, because there's only two people currently on the Chiefs. All right. Apparently. Voting has closed. Two nobles voted for. Sneak into the capital and collapse the palace onto the monarch's head. Lower authority. I mean, the McRib, that's a vote I can stand behind. <laughs> a bit too sneaky for my liking, but it'll get the job done. We'd best make sure that the security is lax enough for us to sneak in. I'm sure we can convince the king to relax a few restrictions here and there. I said, playing as Lumi. <laughs> <laughs> for the good of the realm, of course. That's right, I'm Oddmund. For the final stage of their scheme, the chiefs must lower their authority to tour lists. And they are in direct competition with the counts who want my authority to go up. Oh boy, guys. So we're just. Oh boy, guys. So <laughs> <laughs> the patricians are gathered in the empty council hall late at the night. A new report from one of their spies has just come in. Lord Patrician Hyena the Second. Steps below. The counts are trying to hollow out the king's mind and fill it with some horrific demon. I knew he was acting strange recently. Is it too late to stop them? It might be. The spell could take hold any day now, and the king still has yet to produce an heir. Perhaps it's worth changing tact. If it's too late for King Cato, we might want to get out while we can. Our only other option right now is to retake the throne by force, if we think that Cato is too weak to hold it. But it's an all-or-nothing play. If we rebel now, all our goodwill will be gone. Not to mention a few of our heads if we lose. We'll be back to square one. The 
like that's a bad thing. All right. A. Support the king by diverting some extra tax from coastal peasants. B. Support the king with a propaganda campaign. C. Support the king by donating food in his name. Or or D. Stoke the fires and invent a reason to get angry at the king. What are your choices, patricians? There's only two uh, of you. Increased ability. Uh, so C. Vote C. Vote B. Oh, B's terrible. Yeah, vote B. Voting has closed. You look great, Solid. Yeah. Uh, solidly, I'm sure everyone's spies are telling everyone about each other's plan, as I'm pretty sure how that's happening. Marvelous. This should help Kato keep a good grip on the peasantry, but we can't do it all for him. His stability is now eight. The patricians must continue to aid the king by countering the other region's schemes as much as they can. They will win the game if the king produces an heir and completes his ambition. Sweet. Uh, let's see. By royal decree, we uh, decree decree we can tweak the laws governing how the council votes. Um, let's see. Decrees of a law. Um. Well, let's see. Um. God damn it, solid. All right, I'm going to throw the Counts of Bone by offering the Monarch's Iron Choice. You you always throw the Counts of Bone. Uh, oh, what can I say? I'm married to one. All right, a curious curse is happening in the coast. Prince of, <laughs> Prince of Foxes, uh... A decree is what brings us together today. A decree is what brings us together today. <laughs> yeah, I totally fucked that up. Love, true love. A giant glass globe filled to the brim with murky water is wheeled before the council. The fishbowl contains Lord Patrician Sonic suspended in liquid. He pokes his head above the surface. Yo, what'd you do, Sonic? Your August Majesty, Glub Glub, a most infuriating circumstance has befallen me, Glub Glub. I definitely don't know how to gurgle on command, so my bad. Glub Glub. Uh, good grief, what happened glub, to you? Glub Glub. I have been, Glub Glub, cursed by a sea wizard. He infected me with these Glub Glub gills, so I can't leave the water for more than a couple Glub Glubbing minutes. What did you do to anger the wizard? Uh, Sonic says they're just drowning in their sorrows by turning into a fish. I happen oh to own God. a tannery that is glub glub, polluting some pict uh, picturesque beach he likes. How was I supposed to glub glub? No. I demand you arrest this maniac and force him to glub remove these gills. What should be done about the wizard? So the wizard was, or sorry, Lord Patrician Sonic was polluting a beach it sounds like? Send a squad of coastal soldiers to arrest uh, the wizard responsible. Uh, well, the military does not exist, so that uh, choice does not work. So, nope. Uh, send a diplomat to politely ask the wizard to reverse the, the curse. Close down Lord Patrician Sonic's tannery. Or send a wizard a hamper of fine cheeses and bottle of wine. Wow. I wonder if that same choice is going to succeed. All right, you got B for diplomat, C for closing down the tannery, and D for a bottle of wine. Let's do C. Sonic says, how can I be king if I'm a fish? Well, you could be uh, Aquaman, as Hy Hyena suggests. Oh, wow. More people voted to close down their tannery. Last time we had this choice, uh, y'all voted to send the wizard wine and cheese. Voting has closed. Five nobles voted for, close down Lord Patrician Sonic's tannery. 
Uh, sorry, sir. No more tannery no. for you. Uh, the coast no. defiance is now insolent, and the uh, Lord Sonic's uh, wealth has decreased. After your soldiers closed down the tannery and destroyed its vats, the nearby beach returns to its former beauty. Lord Patrician Sonic recovers from his curse. Sure, a few hundred jobs are lost, but it's a small price to pay. Oh no! Trade is down! Yes. Lord Patrician Sonic appears in the council hall a few days back, or a few days later, back to his old self, though he has a case of the hiccups that persists for several months. Well, at least you're normal again. I get my buddy Sonic back. Alright, looks like uh, we have vultures and harsh judgment. After dinner one evening, Des Domina's reading through letters from the north. She's she snorts. The chiefs can't keep control of their own people. There are even more robberies happening in the north. Can you believe it? Uh, Ridiculous, isn't it? It is a little. They expect us to solve their problems for them. Uh, well, I definitely don't want trade to plummet, so... And the Ooh. military the military is not so great. So, well, we do have responsibilities. Seems like the safe choice. I know that. But do the chiefs really deserve it? Yes. Uh I'm the king. This is my job. Yes, all right, fine. But I doubt they'll thank you. Uh, in fact, you received several thank you letters from the chiefs. Some are even handwritten by the nobles themselves. Hooray! Right. Yes? Your trade went up. I'm not actually sure what I did to help with that, though. You talked. I you did, did good talk. I don't want our trade to go up. Desdomina glares at them whenever she sees another one. Several accidental... Several accidentally end up in the fire? Damn. My the wife or the north? Uh, the north. I don't know. Oh, no, the letters. She throws the letters in the fire. Oh, okay. I was like, is she throwing... Is your wife throwing people in the fire? Uh, I mean, that would be oh rather my. harsh because <laughs> she must really hate the north, so I have no idea <clears throat> why. All right, vultures. Count J, please tell me about these vultures. <laughs> oh, read the Coastal merchants are taking advantage of cheap eastern labor, your grace. Exploiting our natural resources. And putting our trading companies out of business. Oh no. The real problem right there. <laughs> They're vultures. Vultures. Is it really such a problem? This is just business. Oh no! Count Jay's wealth has decreased from 900 to 150! Oh my god, Jay, I'm so sorry! <laughs> I've never got money in this fucking game! <laughs> what should be done about coastal merchants exploiting the east? <laughs> oh my. Uh, yo. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I do want my trade to go up, so I should probably uh, vote, uh, encourage people to vote for C. B does seem like a pretty good option, though. Hmm. No, that would that would plummet my treasury, which helps no one. That definitely helps us. But your goal is to plummet my authority. Oh, so yes, how does that help you? If they just want money. They're greedy. Okay. I mean, Wait, I thought the co the patricians were supposed to be greedy. Anyway. Lowering... Oh, don't worry. It'll show. Lowering trade, because that's your ambition, is what uh, we want to do. And option B lowers trade. All right, Count, uh, if you would like more money in your coffers, please encourage C to happen. Well, uh, looks like, looks oh like the, uh, looks like the kingdom's, uh,
coffers yes. are going bankrupt. Damn, that sucks. Yes, bankrupt ourselves. Five nobles voted for it. The king will buy up the coastal trading company. You buy yeah, up all the prisons. coastal companies in the east. Lumber yards, tanneries, silver mines, workshop. Jesus Christ. No, no it all strike. goes to the crown. Depths below. This is outrageous. I was the one who made those businesses profitable. And now I'm expected to accept this paltry payoff? Aww. I'm... I have no feelings about this. Apparently. A few weeks of chaos ensue as you replace management, but after that, the businesses start raking in a nice little profit. Oh, what? sweet! I got my money back! Yay! What? Damn. And my trade went back <laughs> up with the count, so it canceled each other out. So that didn't uh, burn burn me like I thought it was going to. Oh my god, is that a win-win? Yeah, what? that was that was a win-win! Yay! I never get those. Backfired. Absolutely backfired. Ugh, man, I don't I don't know how to encourage getting an heir. I'm assuming it's because uh, Team North and Team East are so far along in their scheme that I apparently am neglecting getting busy. Neither of us like what the authority uh, is. Oh, your heir. Oh, cool! I get an heir! Yay! Yay. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. Should I die? I ask that my crown be passed down to. The council hall is filled with nervous silence. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. Since I am a king, let's go with passing the crown to a princess. The assembled nobles break out into polite applause. By designating an heir, you've cemented the stability of the kingdom. Your Majesty, may I be the first to congratulate you on the birth of your daughter? What is her name? Hakina the second! Oh my god. That is such an innovative name. Uh, so solidly endorses C. Another win for feminism. Yeah. And Prince of Foxes says it's mostly just a time thing. Okay, so I basically have to make sure people don't complete their schemes quick enough. Yeah. Most pleasing, Basically. Your Grace. I'm sure little Cato II will grow up to be a chip off the old block. Congratulations on finding an heir. Now you just need to fulfill your ambition to win the game. Expect a visit from the Spymaster soon. Aww. All right, descent at the arena. Also, what's all this chaos happening in the in the coast? It's pretty solid. I I, I enjoy it. Spy master. It was still <clears throat> a coastal gladiator named Onyx has become remarkably popular in the arena. Oh, solidly endorse says. Can I just say I really appreciate the creepy vamp voice you've picked for my character? Oh yes. Uh, I, uh, thank you. I was going for that, because, you know, the counts are all yes. vampires. The counts are all vampires. They just, you yes. know. Yes, well done. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I heard he threw a whole ox across the stadium. He's throwing even bigger words around these days. Uh, Prince of Foxes says some of us are werewolves. It just sounds like Jay is an old mobster. Listen here, Sonic. Back in my day, you said that type of disrespectful nonsense. You know what would happen to you. Uh, solidly yeah, endorsed says this is just like the old Sonic dubs. Uh, I've <laughs> never seen them, so I don't know if that's a compliment or not. <laughs> well, I don't know either, but it just sounds funny. It's all a joke for now, but it's still seditious, and he has a significant following. He, or the other gladiators, or even the patricians at large, may decide to take this further. <laughs> Baseball bats and the kneecaps. <laughs> Sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> More like a thank you note with a with a uh, with a what is it a pack a whole pack of uh, you know Cubans. 
smoking a pack of menthols Ayo. every six hours, apparently. <laughs> Jesus. Oh <laughs> Depths below. Since when does the king have a say in what happens in our own arenas? Uh, since you stuck me on the throne, that's what. Uh, oh. sol solidly endorsed says, it's where the what the fuck are you two talking about mean came from. And the, <laughs> whoa, he's bisexual? I didn't know that. I actually, uh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've actually never seen either of those memes. Yep, I have no idea what that is. I need to look this up. <laughs> I, I, need to I don't know if you want that in search history. Uh, I'm happy that Onyx is comfortable to speak freely. Free speech. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hyena looks, Hyena the second looks surprised and nods approvingly despite himself. But it all comes down to the council's decision. Uh, Spymaster! Should Onyx the Intimate Gladiator be allowed to carry on criticizing the king? Well, you know, uh, Lord Hyena the Second was alive for too long. Maybe we should just put him in the ring. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Alright, I know the you count. Should vote for D. These nuts. Uh. I was gonna say, I know um, the counts are trying to raise authority, so yeah. let's see if no I can. Should let them do that. Let's see if I can split the vote here. Monarch's iron choice is now A, which also increases authority. Hmm. I'd love to see Hyena have to fight. How about B? In case you need a reminder of which team you're on, here you are. If the boat is split, then frankly, we win either way, my fellow counts. Oh my god, I'm a patrician? No! No! <laughs> Look at this squirrel. Voting squirrel has closed! Here. Have the king's gladiator bodyguards fight Onyx. Oh so shit. So unfair. They just have war. That's the only reason. Yep. Uh, Gladiator, who would like to vo voice the Gladiator? Uh, I, I guess I could. It'll be good to get back into the ring. We'll beat this Sonix fellow into the ground, no problem. After a few weeks, their Gladiators return. We were so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous, your esteemed highness. We flanked Onyx and caught him in a net. And then I hit Onyx with a reverse pile driver and the crowd went wild. <laughs> He waves a huge, ostentatious medal. <laughs> he I'll wear this on duty object. now. My greatest achievement. Not even mad. The old pile driver. Other than guarding you, of course, your esteemed highness. That's funny. This thing is so <laughs> big, I use it as a Now shield. that your honor guard has shown their medal, the arena spectators are eager to praise you to the skies. Your authority no. is now credible. No! Not only direction. that, but the patricians are delighted that some of their own gladiators were the ones to take down Onyx. Defiance is now insolent! It's just business. It's just business. Alright, uh, is there anything else? Oh, over here. An eerie feeling! I am most pleased with the new aqueduct we built on my land. But... The farmers believe the aqueduct is cursed. They refuse to use its water on their crops. Why in the seven hells do they believe that? Nobody knows. They say it gives them a creepy feeling. What should we do? Vibes are off, man. Uh, have the High Inquisitor perform a... S uh... <laughs> oh my god, I was gonna say have the High Inquisitor perform sexism. Oops. Ex... <laughs> 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 Only the men can drink from this fountain. <laughs> so you mean you mean perform sexism out in the open? Uh, I have been commanded to drink something, so I'm gonna go grab something to drink real quick. <laughs> from the aqueduct, no doubt. Because oh you're God. mad. <laughs> wow. Oh God. But yeah, so uh, let's see. I I do like. Um, none of these options oh. seem particularly exciting or useful. I, I have very 
very weak opinions on all of this. None of these affect the count, so I'm okay. Vote however you want. I don't care anymore. None of this matters. Just vote. This doesn't matter. Facts, facts, facts. Counts strong. Counts and Contesses and Contes are strong. Strong. Mm. Counts so, together so. strong. Zug zug. <laughs> zug zug. <sighs> Man. Ooh, I'll be right back. I'm going to take a very quick yeah. bye. You, you know what? High quest, just, yeah. just go for it. Let's just go eight. Okay, I'm back, and I grabbed a sparkling cherry limeade to drink in your honor. Wow, Sol sounds delicious. And then uh, Sonic uh, required me to stretch. I used that opportunity to like run away and use the restroom, so I hope that counts as stretching. Ooh. Yes, A sounds fun after all. Okay, uh, so no exorcism. Aww. I know. Aww. Well, too bad. Start the vote. Damn. B for painting puppies and clowns all over it? I don't know how that's going to help. Uh, C, order the farmers to stop complaining. Or D, raise the aqua deck to the ground. I... Yeah, no one knows what they want to do here. <laughs> I mean, it would be pretty funny to have puppies and clowns all over the aqueduct. Those clowns definitely make something less creepy. I mean, as long as they don't look like it. Alright, so we're voting for puppies and clowns all over the aqueduct to make it less creepy. Creepy! Hopefully not the Stephen King version of a clown, because that would just be terrifying. There's nothing less scary than puppies and clowns! Those honking, squeaking bringers of joy! Soon enough, the aqueduct is covered in colorful images of giant, playful puppies and enormous laughing clowns. The effect is more troubling than you'd hoped. Yeah. By the ninth! Yeah, fuck clowns. <laughs> Your Serene Highness, this hasn't solved anything! The farmers are still avoiding my aqueduct like a dancing plague! Like the dead? Oh my god. We'll shut it down until this is sorted out. Uh, the coast farming is now just sufficient. So, womp womp. Whoa. Solidly endorsed says, clowns are famously reassuring. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Alright, I always forget to do this um, every time I play. But if you all are liking the vibes and wish to keep up with what I'm doing next, here's my Twitch Discord. Join if you would like. There's the link below. Although I'm sure you have like a million Discords. So what's one more? End season! Thank you for the follow, Prince of Foxes! Mm. I have money again. Oh, uh, no, Prince of Foxes, you're still in there. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. The theater. Once the again, theater. uh, oh, there's actually nothing that helps trade, so I don't actually care what you guys choose. Have at it, Hoss, as they say. You should definitely increase the arts. A theater would be, you know, a great way to... Mm. Also, thank Increase you, thank you for the the kingdom. follow solidly endorse. I appreciate you. Yes, uh, if my I, fellow contest. Also, if I haven't said it already, thank you for the follow, Prince of Foxes. Yes. Yes. Um, all right. I hope you've had enough time mm. to gaze at your choices. I'm gonna hit start the auction. You have sixty seconds. Mm. Yes. I only have 150 gold. I'm so poor. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. I forgot to put your guys' money up here. Oh no, wait. Your money is already in the corner. Just kidding. Yeah, it's it's right now. It's on the it's on the other side. Don't worry. No I'm so used to there. I'm so used to there being a 
freak ton of people here that I always have to open the Nobilis, but not this time. Yeah, that's all good, though. <laughs> yeah, oh. good. Oof. Help me out. All, all in due time. There's, there's strategy to you. Yes, I think, I think we got it. All right, D sixty nine. All right, so the chiefs. Oh, uh, wow. Yes, yes. All right. Yes. I mean, uh, the... yes, our military went down, but more importantly, the authority went down. Our military can take a hit. It's still the most powerful by far. Yeah. Nice try, nice try, nice try, counts. Nice try, nice try. Yeah, last second. Nice play. Exactly. Nice play, Kenton. Exactly. Fuck you. Yes. Mercy, <laughs> <laughs> Chief. Mercy. I will take. I will take that as a compliment. All right, your ambition, Spy Master. Would you tell me about my ambition? Um, at the start of your reign. You said you wanted to be the architect of the Golden Age. But so far, you've not convinced anyone. The kingdom's trade is still lackluster, your majesty. Golden Age? Eh, may, more like bronze. Maybe copper. <laughs> Your current ambition isn't working out for you. If you want to stop the nobles from overthrowing you, you need to pivot. Change your image. Solidly endorses, uh, Uga 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 Uga, uga for the spy master. <laughs> <laughs> yo, spy master is, uh, yo, she got some, yo, she thick. Your other advisors have some ideas. Uh, Hyena, I think you were my marshal. Oh, that's right, it was. <laughs> we should crush these disloyal nobles, smash their armies, and force them to submit. We Oh, we have an archbishop! Wow. Uh, Cantonian, would you like to be the archbishop? Your majesty... If you help us spread the zeal of the Ninth God, the Church will lend our full support. With the backing of the Church, the nobles wouldn't dare move against you. The common folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare overthrow you for fear of revolution! Here's another idea. Declare war on the Ashmedium Empire. The nobles will forget their schemes if you win. Uh. Well, my authority sucks. So, ooh, I'm gonna go with being beloved by the common folk. A wise decision, Your Majesty. I'll begin recruiting town criers to shout about your achievements to the masses. But first, you need to you need some actual achievements. Your priority to, is to raise the kingdom's stability and overall farming as much as possible. Of course, there can't be open rebellion among the nobles. Yikes. This is a pretty strong hand for the incumbents. The wandering bard! Your Majesty, a traveling bard. She said she has come to compose a song for you. Not just any bard, Your Highness. The best in all the land. Sally Six Fingers, they call me. A song, you say? About me? Why, of course. In fact, I have the tune and the verse all but ready. I have saved my best work for you, my king. All I require is a subject. What should I tell the masses of you? What would you like to inspire? Uh, let's just go with teach them to love me. I will do so, your highness. Absolutely. 
Give me but a few weeks, and everyone within the Crown Lands will know of your benevolence. Pray, I need only but a small payment of 500 gold for a time. A discounted rate for one as esteemed as you. Uh... You know what? Let's go with uh, double it just to be on the safe side. Oh, thanks to your majesty. She hurries out of the throne to do your bidding. Last time I spent just the amount she asked for, it ended horribly. So let's see what happens when <laughs> I... I... Remember yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. So I'm going to... Go... <laughs> oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> So this time we're going to double her asking fee and hope for the best. Yes! Victory is mine! The oh. song has the desired effect with everyone praising your good nature. Hell yeah. Yes. Uh-oh, the north is low on lumber. Not again. Your majesty... Will you tell these superstitious chiefs to get over themselves and let us harvest their trees? We need the wood for our craftspeople. I was gonna say we need a lot of firewood, man. I've told you a thousand times, Conte. That forest is thoroughly haunted. You'll damn us all if you go logging there. But you sold us a logging contract, and the contract has no exclusions for haunting. Your Grace, the Chiefs can't be allowed to wiggle out of their commitments. Should the Counts be allowed to harvest lumber from the haunted forest in the north? Uh, the Counts have a contract and may go logging. Let them harvest lumber, but share the proceeds with the Chiefs. Uh... Turn the forest into a joint eastern-northern hunting reserve. Fence off the area and make sure no one goes near it. These are all terrible choices. Um, so I'm just going to do this. Aww. That makes that the lowers authority, authority cancel out. Uh, yeah, yes. She... Put a, a curse on that choice that increases authority. Yeah, the mon uh, the yeah. monarch's iron choice gives plus one to authority, so it cancels cancels out. Oh, smart. Um, shoot. Let's go with D then, because it might fail. Well, it looks like the counts have a contract and can go logging. <sighs> Fail. Uh, with the council's oh. express permission, hundreds of eastern lumberjacks rush into the haunted forest and start hacking it down. But they're woefully unprepared for what they find. <laughs> Warned you! The moment the workers cut into the ancient trees, they come alive, picking up laborers and devouring them whole. Panic oh, spreads. Yeah. Uh, panic spreads, the counts withdraw from the area immediately, but the forest does not return to dormancy. Instead, trees start marching across the north, ransacking villages along the way. Holy Thanks. crap, we will never forgive this. Uh. Mm -hmm. I warned you. Now there's an army of angry trees on our doorstep. The greed of the counts knows no bounds. All right, end the season. Um, I think I'll just leave Whatever it. Whatever shall we do? Uh. Yeah, I'll just leave it. End season. Ooh, ambition beloved. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Your majesty. Your majesty. The common folk are swayed as easily as dandelion in a gale. I'm confident that we can make them adore you. 
This will be the biggest public relations campaign the kingdom has ever seen. You'll tour the kingdom giving speeches. Town criers will declaim your great deeds from every corner. Uh, can't we do things to actually help people? The nobles would never accept it. You need to secure your hold on power. Then you can pass whatever reforms you'd like. A few days later, the Chancellor is helping you prepare for your first big speech. Uh, the peasants demand my presence. You're hustled out onto your palace balcony, below which a sea of expectant and unwashed faces gaze up at you. As you step out into the view, they erupt in cheers. Hats are thrown in the air and someone faints with joy. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Everywhere you've gone, you're met with the same reception. The public like you. They really, really like you. But you need to turn that into love. Oh, Jesus. It says 90%, but knowing this game, that 10% screws me over. So let's see what Bar happens. And Jesus. Yes! <laughs> Win! <laughs> yeah! I've played Final Fantasy XIV. I know the chances. I know. It's, it's, it's never what it says. <laughs> As you launch never into your speech, not. the peasants hang on to your every word. The crowd grows and grows. When you wrap up, the peasants' cheering is so loud you're nearly knocked over. Well yeah. done, your majesty. That went brilliantly. I did it, Chancellor! You did it. Now let's take the show on the road. Over the next few weeks, you travel all over the kingdom, delivering that same speech to packed venues. Everywhere you go, you're greeted by cheers and applause. Sounds like a specific senator that we all know. Mm. Things are going mm. wonderfully. The common folk of the north even want to throw you a surprise banquet to celebrate your achievements. <laughs> if it's a surprise party, why are you telling me? If I've learned anything as Chancellor, it's that surprises should be avoided. This is a sign that you're a true king of the people, your majesty. This has nothing to do with nobles. It's all about the ordinary folk, salt of the earth. So, when is this banquet? I trust we'll hear from the north soon. Oh boy, await your invitation. Oh no, I failed! Womp womp. Ooh. Uh, well, that's what happens when farming in the north is shit. After a few weeks, the Chancellor sidles into your office looking downcast. I had a letter from the mayor in the north. He's eager to get the banquet set up, but he just doesn't have the food for it. I'm afraid it's been delayed. We couldn't have the king of the kingdom attending a substandard banquet. Oh, goodness me, no. Uh... Can we pay for it ourselves? It's meant to be a surprise, your majesty. We need to make sure that there's enough food across the kingdom for your party. That's how we'll make the people really fall in love with you. To improve your chances of victory, focus on increasing kingdom's farming as much as possible the next two seasons. The challenge will decrease in difficulty with each failed attempt. Alright, so... We got trees are attacking, or a strange encounter. Oh, no. Oh, I see. Someone didn't know what senators were. Got it. I understand. Yeah, oops. I meant both. <laughs> I meant... No, uh, the Congress actually refers know, to Congress just the, the house. house. Yeah, the Isn't Congress... Okay, yeah, I was right. Oh, because okay. the, because the Senate is the senators. Duh. Senate is the Senate. Yeah, yeah. yeah so Cong Senate, so yeah. Congress is the people of the House. The uh, both parties are known as the legislative branch, are part of the legislative yes. branch, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually yeah. gonna say both yeah. parties are hut and hut, but you know well, that's, that's just it. my opinion. Uh, the I trees. Think Congress can also be used for both. The trees are attacking. Uh, Chief Warvance. Chief Warvance, will you tell Americans me about these trees? Terrible. Knowing about our own system. Uh, your Majesty, ever since these bird brained counts tried to cut down our ancient grove, the trees have been rampaging across the north. Well, that sounds like a problem. You just said the forest was haunted. Lots of forests are haunted. You should have said, composed of ancient cursed trees that swallow people whole. 
Wow. The grove is older than the kingdom itself. It's no wonder it held such power. Please, your highness, assemble the council. We have to appease the trees. Is a sentence I said seriously. A solidly endorsed says, we have two houses, the commons, elected MPs, and lords, unelected peers, and lords spiritual. That I did not know. At least y'all have multiple parties. We only have two that have any real sway here. Uh, okay, more. well I definitely don't want to set fire to the north. Yes, please don't do that. Uh, alright, so we got, uh, B, search for a wizard to destroy the trees, C, bring in eastern soldiers to help fight, or D, the chiefs can deal with this alone. Oof. Let the voting commence. If you need a reminder which team you're on, here you go. Um, how about we get... Hmm... Well, it doesn't matter what you vote for now because it looks like D's going to win. Yeah, I was oh, going to no. say Cats D as split. well, though, because I like the idea of the treasury paying for it. Spoken like a Man, you dream. like hate the, the monarchy like every game, don't you, Kenton? <laughs> Maybe. It's really on brand, actually, though. Honestly, fuck the monarchy. <laughs> If he was playing as the king, I'm I'm pretty sure he would also go in into the Twitch chat as a guest to also go against himself. <laughs> Honestly, yes. I'd be down for I, I would yeah I'd do that kind of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> we do have more parties, but realistically, it's really Labour versus Conservative. Oh, that sounds like just like America. We just have Democrats versus the Republicans because we have other parties. We have the Green Party. Libertarians. I don't think Pacific Independent Green. is actually a party. I think they're just, just not well, either. There's both. There's and then I've who are lowercase i independents, and then there is a party called Independent. And then I actually saw that there's a, a party called Castle, which I was like, what? Who are these people? And then we also have, I think, the Federalists. You're cutting out, Tia. You're yeah, Tia, you're losing. Yeah. Oh, thank. Tia, you're cutting out, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix that. It might be my battery. Let me check. Uh, all good. Uh, we just didn't hear what you said. If you could just repeat yourself, please. <laughs> uh, which part do I need to repeat? Uh, like, all of the context. All right, let me start over. So, in America, we have the two major parties, Democrats and Republicans. We also have the other parties. We have the Green Party. We have Independents. We have Libertarians. And then we have uh, Democratic Socialists. And then we also have this new party I found out called Castle, I think. Their color is purple. And I was like, who the F are these people? That's and then uh, I think the Federalists still exist. Because um, I know there's this organization called the Federalist Society. And uh, yeah, that's all I know about American politics. Well, okay, I know a little bit more than that, but I'm, I'm not, I don't think I, I want to bore anyone with a political lesson. All right, the Chiefs, unfortunately, you're going to have to deal with this alone. The council has spoken. I have terrible news. I have to depart. No, the patricians are going to oh. be down one noble. It's nine o'clock, and unfortunately, friends, I too must retire. All right, uh, since we're losing team members, we're going to finish May this. Just... Uh, well, actually, I haven't eaten dinner yet, so after this scene, we're just going to go ahead and call it since two people are leaving. Because this will make okay. the this will make it the voting super unbalanced because I yeah, forgot that's... I forgot to change the settings back to balanced voting. Uh, I see. Saddle us with an army of marauding killer trees and then slink back to the east, will you? I should have known. Chiefs muster up whatever defenses they can. Rusted pitchforks don't even scratch century hardened bark, but they can't afford to be picky. Every fighter is an asset. Oh no! 
Uh, well, at least your challenge succeeded. The trees are hard to kill, surprisingly adept technicians. Uh, the peasants claim they are embodied spirits of northern generals who fought against deposed gods during the Cursed Age. Whatever the case, the cost of war is heavy. It takes many months and thousands of lives before the last tree is felled and burned. No one takes any chances. Yay! My stability is now serene! Thanks for killing off those trees for me. God damn. The legend of the killer trees fades from the world once again. The Archbishop claims that one more bastion of the deposed god's influence has been destroyed and stability is now ten. <laughs> okay, uh, looks like we have a strange encounter left, but because uh, some of our nobles are departing and will make the voting very unbalanced, I'm going to call it a night here. Thank you so much for playing. I hope you all had a good time. Thank um, you for having us. We will good play, night, everyone. We will play this game again in two weeks. I hope to see you there. Um, if you have hey. if you have hopped into my Discord channel, there is a thing called Upcoming Streams. Uh, it looks like I set the date for the next King of the Castle for the 29th. And I hope to see you again soon. Love you all. Have a good night. Thanks for playing. Bye. Oh yes, you're welcome. I'm uh usually it's pretty easy to prompt me to talk about politics, so I was happy to help you. Have a good night. Thanks for playing. Bye.